My name is Harsha Tandon. I am from India. I am, I am at Queen's. I am studying Masters in Management. Yeah, I'm Hamid Radwan from Egypt and Shams University. I'm studying uh, Mechanical Engineering. Uh, my name is Ayelt Manselt. I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, I just graduated at Wageningen University. I studied uh, Land and Water Management. I'm uh, Kim Kwietraan. I'm uh, 23, 23 years old. I'm studying consumer studies, and my major is marketing consumer behavior. And I'm studying in Wageningen University. Um, my name is Sarah Maynard, <coughs> and I study at Queen's Social Anthropology. Uh, well, my name is Nushin Kopsi, and I'm, I'm actually a student from Canada, the University of Western Ontario, which is in London, Ontario. <laughs> Um, and I'm a PhD student in population epidemiology. I talked to Emma. She told me about the science job, what I have to do, and she told me that how I will be uh, with, the, with my subject, with my management, as well as with the charitable trust, and how I can help them. But the science shop had a project for me, because the problem for a science shop is that they don't have enough student engagements. So we had to investigate why students don't engage in the science show. We found out that students just don't know the science show. When I started my project at the university for like two months research, I have not heard about the science show. And then after being like two, three days into the, in, into the project, uh, started reading some articles, I like the first thing which came to mind was like, the science shop is rubbish, I, I don't like it. You, you start to realize that like this kind of research, the concept of the science show is needed and that you also hear, for, hear from other students which ha have done a project for the science shop and what of benefits their research has been to the, sci to the science shop and society. As part of my degree was giving a fieldwork project that I had to do and I couldn't find direction in it. I could do anything pretty much and it was nice to be able to come to the science shop and they give me options of projects that needed to be done. I've just started a project um, it's working with asylum seekers and refugees and volunteering and the um, science shop basically put me in touch with the VDA which is uh, the agency that I'm doing it with. I'm producing guidelines for organisations that are working looking to work with asylum seekers and refugees. My dissertation is specifically a community-based research project um, and we're working with the transgender and transsexual community of Ontario. I didn't know much about community-based research but one, it's been an awesome learning experience because the more I'm doing it, the more I'm realizing, especially with certain communities, I think it's the only way to do research. For like the trans community, for example, I, I can't imagine it being any other way. They are not paying us, but we are getting experience for this. So they are, they, are, they are getting a marketing strategy from us and we are getting a practical experience and a label on our CV that I work for three organization and a student sign shop. The sign shop does only those local projects. And I think that the design shop can build on this as the local success have been, then they can build on it and then build their identity and build that the design shop is doing a good thing and that benefits both society and science. It's actually more in it for students to find a practical topic. It's really a topic from our community which is really used. If you have the results of your study, the community can really make use of your results. Egypt and uh, a lot of countries import a lot of woods from Europe. Uh, and then there are some new laws uh, uh, restricting cutting, cutting trees from, uh, from jungles. Uh, so uh, we, we, we are providing a new solution for it. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the ashes and things going out from the field, which is no, no use now, we make it, uh, we, we compare, uh, we combine it to make the same wood uh, what's better, what's uh, more useful. Yeah. Power is ma has mainly been in the hands of the academic researcher, you know, it's the university, the academic, you know, they have the final say, they are the ones with, they are the experts, they have the money, so they, they develop the questions, they do the research their way because they know what's best. Um, there's a real effort with CBR to have an equitable distribution of power as much as possible, you know, because in, in the case of CBR, in the case of like marginalized communities, the academic is not the expert. The academic actually does not know, they may know the research methods that they may have the academic tools and the funding to carry out the projects, um, but it is actually the community members who really know you know, what's going on, what needs to be done to address an issue. I think they get 
I mean, students, different perspectives, people coming in from the outside looking at their projects. Um, they get research done for them, which I know is important to the VDA, that the people who work for them don't have time to do the research. University research is, is, is also is really theoretical, and most of the time it, it takes really a long time before it can be um, put to use into uh, society. For example, many years. And the thing with the science shop is that in within two months, a student or half year student can do a research. And the outcomes can be ready used by locally because uh, a small subject is investigated, and then also the outcomes of the research are local, and also the uh, um, the needs of society are taking into account into the project. That's, in my opinion, makes it different from really scientific research, and therefore more better adapted to societal needs. Do you think universities could benefit, or students could benefit more from practical-based research? I think they do, because then you know, really know what you're really studying for. You know what's going on in the real world, and you can adapt your knowledge which you learn in university to the real world and you can help other people with it. From what I've learned there's no set way of doing research and I think everybody can bring different aspects. I have to say it may not be the way for all communities and all projects but some some communities, some projects I think should only be CBR. That gave me a, a great chance to, to have uh, a, a new knowledge, a new, uh, a new experience in making this uh, uh, this uh, researchers in, uh, in, in in taking part in something important like this that will help me so much when I uh, graduate and uh, work in something. It could be one my work in the future. Yeah. I am uh, so proud of myself to make things uh, useful for my country, useful for my, for my my people. The universities who hadn't got a shine shop, I can say that like they are lacking of something means it's like you are working at a, at a particular thing and you are getting twice the result of that. Because apart from having my degree, I'm getting a tag that I have done work something for Shine Shop. And this means that you have done a charitable, a charity. Since you are getting practical experience and you are dedicating your work to a certain organization. So that's a very great thing, I think.